Parikshit Chatterjee, a student of MSc Chemistry from a renowned college in Kolkata, once aspired to become a scientist, is today a struggling job seeker. Parikshit's dream of getting a government job now remains a wish. In the absence of right guidance, Parikshit is struggling. Industry is not giving him a job because he has no experience, while the academia and the government jobs always require a PhD. So now he has big question in front of him. Should I do PhD and go for government jobs or should I try applying for industry and get a job? So in this video, I'm here to tell many of the Parikshits out there how to exactly crack this chicken and egg game and also find out the top 10 institutions, government institutions who will hire you as MSc Chemistry. Now, I'm proudly here to tell you that most of us are mistaken about the chemistry industry. It's not that industry doesn't want to hire you. They don't want to invest time in training you. They, they don't have time to train you because they are too busy manufacturing the next product. So that is where Rasainika comes into picture. We have built a learning and earning platform where if you take some short term courses, if you take some short term courses, you can get jobs faster in the industry. So Parikshit and everyone out there, that's the first option. Second option. So do some short term courses and then go ahead and get a job in the industry. Rasainika will place you. We have 100% placement assistance. Now, once you've got a job in the industry, the next step would be prepare for CSIR and chemical sciences. And of course, Rasainika has that training program also, right? So what do you do here? You go ahead and prepare for chemistry, entrance exams, okay? And uh, write the CSIR and exam, do your PhD. Now, once you've qualified, you've done your PhD. So while you were preparing for PhD, your industry job was paying you money. Good, that's what we wanted. So once you've qualified CSIR and you're getting the stipend. So, okay, you are funding that, that money is funding your research and your PhD. Once you have done your PhD, now the question is, which are the companies, which are the organizations who will hire you? Now, let me start by telling you the top 10 organizations who are ready to hire if you have a PhD in chemistry with some amazing projects. Now, remember, whenever you do PhD, do in some applicatory uh, commercial uh, value PhD topic. In fact, if you have any questions about that, you can let me know in the comment section how to choose a PhD topic. I can guide you on that also, right? So let's start with the first one, CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Now, CSIR has more than 300 labs, okay? Now, these labs has various uh, functions. Uh, some are life sciences, some are chemistry, some, some is DNA fingerprinting, a lot of other things. But many of these are chemistry, okay? And I know a lot of people in this, these organization, I can help you get in and, you know, I can introduce you to them also. So through its constituent labs, individual CSIR labs, you can get in as a JRF or SRF initially in contractual positions and slowly you can get into, uh, after your PhD, you can become a research scientist or a project assistant or a scientist B or C position. So that's the first organization where you can go after your PhD in chemistry. The second one you can do is DRDO. Now as a MSc chemistry also, you can get into DRDO. Now that, that, that's the best part. So DRDO is doing a lot of research in chemistry. Why? Because a lot of chemicals are involved in warfare, right? So research, development, testing roles you'll get as MSc chemistry. Once you've done your PhD, of course, you get a scientist role. If you've not done your PhD, in fact, you can do your PhD in DRDO also as a JRF or a research assistant. And you can also get jobs as a quality control or defense chemistry uh, assistant as well in DRDO. Now, DRDO has massive funding. Like the 30% of the entire India's R&D funding is going into DRDO. Imagine right so a lot of money and a lot of prestige and the satisfaction to contribute towards your own country that's amazing right now the third place where you can go as a msc chemistry is cdsco fssai and several regulatory state public health and food and drugs uh, organizations in every state there is one okay you can work as a lab analyst or chemist you can work as a food safety officer or a drug testing uh, officer or a quality control officer or a regulatory compliance role a drug inspector or a food inspector now all this at one place imagine you 
as a MSc chemistry candidate get into a government job in any of this. Now, there will be separate specialized organ, you know, exams for this which happens. So, of course, you have to keep an eye on Prasainika where all these vacancies will come. Now, apart from this, there are various PSU, that is a public service unit and chemical and petrochemical industrial units in various parts of the country which hire you. Now, which are those? Hindustan Petroleum and various such petrochemical companies uh, which hire for quality control, research, analytical chemist, production labs, many public service units except MSc Chemistry as a minimum eligibility for a job in chemist and QA QC role. Now, the best part is here you have a lot of money because petrochemical industry, if you take experience here, and go to Dubai and you know Oman and US and UK uh, as a petrochemical engineer you get a job and there you have very high salary so you know you start as a government job here I, I know my own uncle he, he was uh, he is a MSc chemistry and he did this okay and then he went to Oman and he, he really really minted a lot of dollars right so as MSc chemistry you can do that academia as well as in education you can go in colleges, universities, in teaching institutes as a lecturer or assist assistant professor for that also you have to write CSIR net exam. Now what are the typical roles you will get in these organizations that let's uh, find that out. So if you are going for a PhD you get a JRF, SRF that's a normal but if you don't go for a PhD the, what kind of jobs you get? You get in quality control, quality uh, testing, analytical chemistry and a lot of uh, uh, scientific officer jobs, technical officer, scientist roles in uh, ISRO, DRDO, uh, defense related R&D labs. Then in regulatory enforcement, inspection roles you get, quality assurance, process control and research jobs you get here. Now, what makes these institutes the most coveted and attractive is because of, it is a government job. Stability, a lot of money, a lot of funding, but at the same time, one thing which I should not miss and you should not miss is 2%. Only 2% of the applicants in the entire decade will get a job in these organizations, right? Now that's the caveat. And that is why I said, while Parikshit is waiting for these, he should go for a job and that's what you should be doing, right? So while you are looking for these government jobs, please, I beg you, please, get into the industry and the shortest way to get into the industry is learning some short-term courses on Rasainika's platform and then getting placed into the industry. Okay, once you've got a job in the industry, the whole world is yours, my dear friend. So, okay, you started earning and in the meanwhile, prepare for CSNet. Again, Rasainika will help you. Once you have the CSNet exam cleared, go and become a PhD and then you can apply for these, right? But what is the biggest problem here is... We are Gen Z, we don't have patience, right? So if you don't have patience, you, the government jobs are not for you, okay? Because getting inside a government job is too much of hard work, too much of patience. And at the same time, if uh, you don't like standing in a lab, playing with chemicals, then instead of doing all of this, you can go towards the chem informatics, AI, drug discovery, all of that using computers. And that will be a different ball game, by the way. So this is all I wanted to share in today's video. But I'm sure I must have missed some points or you might have some more questions. So you know what I do? I would invite you to comment below. Either I'll reply to you or I'll take it as a next video topic like Parikshit had commented and I made this video. So please go ahead and comment below what more you need to know about these government jobs or any other jobs in the biotech, pharma and chemistry industry. And I'll make a special video for all of you. Your one question can help thousand people because if I make a video, thousand more people will get to know about this. So, you know, we will be able to create a very strong chemistry community which helps each other, right? So you tell me which topic I should make a video, deep dive, I'll make that. Then you and many others in the industry will get helped and many generations will get helped, right? So let's come together and build this Rasainika platform as the strongest platform on earth for chemistry community. All the best.